Hello guys, my name is Rido and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to go back to some of the content that I really love creating on tips, on study tips for students who are doing their CTA and their bachelor's degree in accounting. Today we are particularly focusing on management accounting and my tips on how to become better at the module, especially if like me, you're not like a natural at the subject. So if you like this content, please make sure that you subscribe. that I would like to share with you guys is when it comes to management accounting you need to know your strengths and your weaknesses so the module is typically split into costing and financial management and usually you can you are not good at both on in the same amount of way you probably are not as proficient in costing as you are with financial management or the other way around so you need to know what your weakness is so let's say um in my case costing was my main challenge but my financial management was quite good then the first thing that you need to do is to maximize on the strength so you know that you're going to you're going to get maybe it will be almost like a 50 50 or sometimes 60 40 depending on the paper but if you're going to get like um maximize on your financial management and get very high marks so for example if it's out of 50 you get a 40 out of uh, 50 or maybe let's just be prudent and make it at 35 so you get 35 out of 50 on financial management and then for costing you try your best to just get maybe a 20 that means you're already over the mark so the first thing is to maximize your strength and then once you've maximized on your strength and you make sure that you ace that side that you know that you're quite good at then you go to the uh, to your weaknesses and then now focus on the areas that you need to improve on on your weaknesses so that you get to just pass to get over the line for your weaknesses especially when you're preparing for exam you might not have enough time to maybe be as proficient at the costing as you would have wanted to be so maximize on your strength and then um, work hard on improving your weak spots the next step is to put on your business or entrepreneurial head now most people do not believe that accountants are good entrepreneurs mainly because we are risk averse so when you get yourself in a management accounting type of situation where you are supposed to make business decisions, it might be a bit challenging for you to actually then come up with, you know, uh, those type of qualitative uh, analysis and type of situations. So when you are going to be answering your management accounting questions, this is the time where, you know, you sort of like relax on your being a risk averse individual side and focus on being a business person. What would someone who wants to make money, uh, who has got employees to think of and who wants to contribute something to the society as a company, what would that manager do? That would actually help you in viewing those situations better than, you know, trying to be close-minded and not thinking in the form of uh, a business. My next tip is something that I've shared on advice for all modules across the board. And it would be to practice a lot of questions. Now for management and accounting, it is particularly important because most of us, when we actually write the exams, you might not be working in a particular industry so you might not really know how maybe the aviation industry operates or the construction industry operates or even the bread making industry operates but if you do a lot of questions in various industries it's going to expose you to you know the costing models of those industries the challenges of those industries how those industries are mainly financed uh, the inventory models of those industries so if you're going to maybe then get that question in the exam it might actually be on a different topic altogether but in your mind because you already have a framework of how 
they make money how they are financed how the inventory system works you are going to answer it better because you know what exactly you're talking about and you know that okay fine this is how the inventory works this is how the costing works and you get a better appreciation of um the subject so do like many questions in those board packs covering uh, various industries and maybe you can even have a list of the industries that you have actually covered now my next tip is don't necessarily be fixated on the answer but on how to get there uh, particularly for financial management questions the thought process of how you get to an answer is very important when you determine okay the number of years maybe if it's a uh, capital appraisal question you're looking at the number of years the payback period and all those things that you're going to put in there so think of the entire process of how to get there document that process make sure all workings are going to be clear you clearly show that okay fine this is how i got the answer this is where i'm coming from these are my thought process why am i subtracting that and even when you're not subtracting something you add it there to show that okay fine i'm not going to remove this because for example if it's a sunk cost and you know that you're not supposed to maybe add it as a like a um, relevant cost because already a sunk cost show that this is a sun cost and you're going to put a zero there you show that you have considered it those are some of the the marks that you actually pick up or can lose here and there if you just fixated on how to get the answer and not necessarily why you are leaving them some things or are including some things my fifth tip is to be calm and collected and to think critically so this helps you to avoid silly mistakes it helps you to identify the catch in the question it helps you to identify the management accounting technique that you're supposed to use so my main challenge with this with the module was that unlike uh, the other three where uh, for financial reporting and auditing there are standards which guide you and therefore text this legislation when it comes to management accounting you are the one who is supposed to identify the technique you're supposed to use when you have a management accounting problem so if you are not calm and if you're not really thinking critically you might even get it wrong from the onset where you just have to start with which technique am i going to use am i going to use relevant costing is it standard costing what exactly am i supposed to use if you're not calm those are some of the things that you do not think of if you're not calm you're going to make silly mistakes maybe you're supposed to remove uh, uh, text or something like that and because you are rushing because you think this is hard you're not going to you're going to make those um, silly mistakes so please let's be calm and collected and think critically my final tip is do not forget how uh, management accounting is integrated with other modules and other subjects because this can help you in answering qualitative questions and this can also help you in those integrated uh, type of situations so for example don't forget the tax implications of certain things do not forget the financial reporting implications for example standard costing being accepted an accepted inventory uh, um, model think of you know the normal losses being included in the cost of something but then abnormal losses are going to be like an, an operating expense those are some of the things that you need to know and they should click off the bed when you are trying to answer or respond to a management accounting question and to summarize the first tip is to know your strengths and your weaknesses so that you can maximize on your strengths and you can improve your weaknesses the second one is to wear your business hat so that you can make a decision as a manager not as an auditor or a financial accountant the third uh, tip is to practice a lot of questions on various industries so that you are more aware of their business models and you are not going to be starting to understand in the exam but you're quite familiar with how the business works 
the fourth one is to not be fixated on the answer but on how to get there so that you can include everything that you worked how you worked on that answer in your exam script and get all those part marks the fifth one is to uh, to be calm and collected and think critically so that you avoid silly mistakes you can understand why all the information has been provided and you can apply the correct uh, management accounting technique to the question that you have been given the sixth and final point is don't forget integration that is how your text fits in the picture and how your financial reporting fits into the picture and sometimes even how the auditing fits into the picture I'll surely be sharing more studying tips with you and if you want to continue seeing this please make sure that you click that subscribe button and uh, uh, hit the notification bell so that you are notified next when I come up with a new video. Until next time, thank you so much guys, thank you. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, keep on sharing.